Um, I invite you this morning to take in a deep breath. And as we do, we breathe in the presence of a God who loves us, connects with us, heals us. And we give thanks. We come together this morning in the name of our creator, redeemer, and sustainer. Amen. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. As we say together, most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to our Creator, our Redeemer, and our Sustainer, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore God. We say together, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let mm -hmm. us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Mm -hmm. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and mm -hmm. raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, O Lord, shouldst mark in iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, and thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Glory to our creator, our redeemer, and our sustainer, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. And this morning we read chapter 7, verses 1 through 8 of the book of Revelations. After this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth, so that no wind could blow on earth or sea or against any tree. I saw another angel ascending from the rising sun, having the seal of the living God. And he called with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to damage earth and sea, saying, Do not damage the earth or the sea or the trees until we have marked the servants of our God with a seal on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 sealed out of every tribe of the people of Israel, from the tribe of Judah. 12,000 sealed, from the tribe of Reuben, 12,000, from the tribe of Gad, 12,000, from the tribe of Asher, 12,000, from the tribe of Nathan, 12,000, from the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000, 
from the tribe of Simeon, 12,000, from the tribe of Levi, 12,000, from the tribe of Issachar, 12,000, from the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000, from the tribe of Joseph, 12,000, from the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 9. Surely God, surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the spring of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out for joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. We say together, let us glorify the Lord, creator, redeemer, and Holy Spirit. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. The affirmation of faith. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the word made flesh to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus as healer, companion, crucified and risen, our judge and our hope. In life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. No, Let sorry. us pray. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord saying, Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for a day of fulfillment and peace. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for us to love others as God loves us. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for peace and justice in the world. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen and relieve all those who are sick suffering or in any sort of need. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to renew our community through the power of the life-giving spirit. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to grant peace and internal rest to all of those who have died in the grace and consolation of the Holy Spirit to all those who mourn. Lord, have mercy. In the silence, we offer our prayers. God of infinite mercy, grant that we who know your compassion may rejoice in your forgiveness and gladly forgive others for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who is alive with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.